Hi everyone, respected teachers and my seniors. You are welcome in this national level online seminar presentation which is organized by Department of Physics, Digboy College. Myself, Murza Jali, a BSc second sem student, Department of Physics, Dulajan College. Uh, my topic for the presentation is the particle nature of light, the photon. The various theories about the nature of light has been given time to time. In 1675 AD, Newton proposed that light consists of tiny particles called corpuscles and these particles are shoot out at a very high speed from a luminous object. Later, Max Planck gives a theory about the nature of light and this theory was quantum theory of light. According to him, light travels in the form of a small energy packet called photon. Photon is the basic unit of all lights. The theory light being a particle completely vanished until, until the end of the 19th century when Albert Einstein reviewed it. The dual nature of light, both the particle nature and the wave nature, has been proved. Its essential theory was further evolved from electromagnetics into quantum mechanics. Now the question is arise that how we can prove the particle nature of light. The particle nature of light we proved by photoelectric effect. According to the theory photoelectric effect, a light of suitable frequency falls on a metal surface, electrons are emitted from that metallic surface. The photoelectric effect introduced evidence that light exhibit particle properties on the quantum scale of atom. At least light can achieve a sufficient localization of energy to eject an electron from a metal surface. In 1905, Einstein proposed a theory based upon Planck's hypothesis of quantum to explain the particle nature of light with the help of photoelectric effect. Einstein believed that light is a particle that is a photon and the flow of photon is a wave. The main point of Einstein light quantum theory is that light energy is related to its oscillation frequency. According to him when a proton of a given amount of energy falls on a metal surface, the photon energy used in two ways. So one part of photon energy is used by the electron present in the that metal surface and that energy is used by that electron to come out from the metal surface. This energy is known as work function of that metal surface. The remaining part of the photo energy is used in giving a velocity to the emitted photo electrons and this part of a photon energy is equal to the kinetic energy of emitted photon electron. The increase of intensity means the increase in the number of photons striking the metal surface for any time as each photon ejects only one electron. Uh, so, the number of ejected photo electrons increase with the increase in intensity of incident radiation. If frequency of incident radiation will be less than the frequency of threshold frequency, then there will be no emission of electron from any surface because the kinetic energy becomes negative. Now, the next term is conclusion. Photon carries a fixed amount of energy but photon have no mass no electric charge photons are always in motion in a vacuum they can travel at a speed of 2.998 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second that is approximately equal to 3 lakh meter per second they are stable photons are electrically neutral so they have no electrical charge and 
the photon can be destroyed or created by many natural processes. For instance, when radiation is absorbed or emitted, the theory that states light be, uh, behaves both like wave and like particle is called the wave particle duality theory. And now the important thing is that the original concept of the photon was developed by the Albert Einstein. However, however, the word photon first used by the scientist Gilbert and Lewis. So thank you.